Who cares what David Wilson thinks about anything? But Fal Lokon in possession with Ela might have some things to say. And it's wow. my sure. it's my belief based on my study and also sp- explicitly stated in Odu, Ifa is not studying in the sense of learning stuff. Ifa is about remembering. Okay, the uh, the spirit of Ela is a hologram of the entire uh, history of creation. And being uh, uh, a medium for Ela gives us access to penetrating that beam of uh, information, that f- frequency of information at specific places uh, really rooted in the problem that we're dealing with. So if you were to say, okay, get possessed by Ela, your head would explode because it's too much information. But if you say, what does Ela have to say about how I have a healthy relationship? That's kind of a thing that you can wrap your brain around. And I would say a further uh, important point to make in the in the idea of uh, information from spirit, there's a couple of points. One point I want to make is every 91 days, Egbe Ifa in Africa invokes the spirit of Ela, which shows up at the ritual in a form of a light beam with no medium. Ela actually manifests as a beam of light. And if we're not doing that, we still got things to learn from our African elders. So that beam of light then becomes a shapeshifter in that the Odu that is cast for the 91 days, meaning the next season, summer, winter, and so on, you say the Ariki, and then that beam of light morphs into the Arisha that's necessary to bring good fortune for the next three months. Mm. That's a remarkable phenomenon, you know, and I'm really of the opinion that we need to spend a lot less time arguing over who's doing things correctly and try to figure out how to do things correctly, if you catch my drift, you know. (laughs) 